Hello, my name is Tom DuPont, and I'm with Codesmith Tools, and today I'm going to be going over merge strategies. Merge strategies are pretty much what they sound like. It's what strategy is Codesmith going to use when it needs to merge a newly generated file with an existing file. Now, Codesmith provides two built-in merge strategies, the Insert Regions Merge Strategy and the Preserve Regions Merge Strategy, as well as the ability to implement your own custom merge strategies, which we'll touch on at the end of the video. So first, I'm going to talk about the two built-in ones, and there are two ways to implement those. The first is in a Codesmith project file, you can implement a merge strategy, or also you can implement it in code when making a master template. So let's start by going over the permutations of how to use the built-in merge strategies. I'm going to come in here to Codesmith Studio, and I'm going to create a folder shortcut in my Codesmith Explorer. Now, for the sake of time and organization, I have already created a series of templates for this video. But before we see how to implement them, let's go over what the two built-in merge strategies are. So first there is the insert region merge strategy. And what it is going to do is take all the output from a template and insert it into a region that you specify. So let's look at an example. So here we see a region named insert here with comments surrounding it and inside of it. So in this case, if we specify the name insert here as our region, all the output from the insert template will get inserted into that region, and everything outside of it will be preserved and go unaltered. So if I were to take text and add it above and below the region, and also inside of it, the text above and below it will remain there whenever we, re we regenerate. However, the text inside is going to get replaced by whatever the template itself generates. So if we look at our insert template here, you'll notice that all it's going to generate is a single line it says this text will reappear, which means we should see that this text turns to just being this text will reappear. So now let's look at the preserve region merge strategy. And again, let's start off by looking at some output. Now this is very much the opposite of the insert region. The entire template is going to get regenerated and put out the file. However, you can specify a region name regex, and any regions that match that name will be preserved from the original file. So they'll be brought out, the new one will be generated, and it'll be placed in their appropriate locations. So if we expand these regions, if, and we think about if we were to create a regex that just matched the word preserve, then this region would match preserve, this region would match preserve, and this region would not, since it's preserved with a D. So that would mean that any text added into here or here will um, remain and be persisted whenever regeneration occurs. However, anything outside of that, whether it be outside the regions or in any other specific regions, will be replaced with whatever the template generates. So again, I'm going to do the same things before. I'm just going to go ahead and paste text into all these locations. Now, when this gets regenerated, assuming, again, that we choose the regex expression for preserve, this text should remain, and this text should remain, but everything else should get reset by the template. So if we look over at our preserve template, you'll notice that everything should just turn back into this text will reappear, because this region will get restored, everything else will get restored. However, these two regions, preserve me and another preserve, will be preserved, and everything inside of them will just be replaced with whatever is in the existing file. So, if we save this, we can now go look at how to set up our projects, and then in a moment we'll be able to see what the actual output is. So if we select our project file, I have two outputs here. We have both the insert and the preserve templates. So let's look at one at a time. Let's first look at our insert template. So all I've done here is select our template, which has no properties we configured. Now I've gone ahead and added a um, custom output name for the file because I want it to appear in the output folder. And then here's where we're actually going to do the work. We're going to select out of this dropdown the insert region merge. And then we have to set up an initialization string. Now this takes, you have to know the syntax of this. It takes a little bit of knowledge, but it's fairly easy. You just have to do region name equals, and then you have to put in your region name that you want to do the insert on. And then you have to put a semicolon, followed by language equals, and then whatever language you're using. So in this case, we're generating C Sharp. Now if we look at our preserve output, so again, remarkably similar. We've just chosen the preserve.cst, and I've added a 
custom output name so that I can put it in the output folder. And then here we choose the preserve regions this time. And so this time we have a region name regex equals instead of just region name. And then my regex is just preserve with word boundaries around it. So not a very fancy regex string. And then semicolon, language equals, uh, in this case C sharp, semicolon. So again, important to note is that this takes in a region name regex because it could have multiple regions that match that regex as opposed to the insert has a single region where we'll insert the output. And something I feel I should mention here, if you do not specify a language, then it will default to whatever your template's target language is. So if we come back over, and no, we didn't make any changes. If we come back over and we look at this, our target language is C-sharp. So had I not actually specified C-sharp, it would still have tried to parse for C-sharp. So now that um, we know that all that's set up and how that all worked, let's go ahead and generate our outputs and see if we get the desired results. So we just regenerated, and these files have been altered outside of the editor, so we're going to reload them. We're going to come over and look at them. So insert.cs, notice that it's still... No, I'm Spartacus, and no, I'm Spartacus outside of the insert. However, inside, the text, this text will re reappear, has indeed reappeared. And if we look at the preserve CS, preserve me was preserved, another preserve was preserved, and everything else, the not preserved region and everything in between, was regenerated by the template. So there you go, that's the basic definition of the built-in merge strategies and how to implement them in our CS projects. Now let's very quickly just go over and look at how to implement those if you were using master files as opposed to just project files. Now I'm not going to focus very much on the master files, uh, just enough to show how to implement a merge strategy in them. For any additional information on our ma master templates and sub-templates, please watch our video uh, about that subject. So notice that we register our preserved template and then we create an object of that type and then all we have to do here is declare a preserve regions merge strategy object of that type and then set its region name regex property and its language property and then when we do template.render to file all we have to do is pass in the output name and the strategy object. This is the same thing for the insert region merge strategy again register our template create the template object and then create our insert region merge strategy object set its properties and again, if you do not set language, it'll just set itself to default to the target language of the template. And then when we're in the file, pass it in. So it's pretty simple. Now, I just want to very quickly show that this worked. So if we go and look at the output again, you'll notice this is the same as what we were dealing with earlier, because we're still dealing with the exact same templates. We're just calling them in a different manner. So I'm going to go ahead and add in my test string again to all these spots. And when we execute our project that is going to call our master templates, we should see that these are going to yield the same output. And I just want to show right here that we're just calling the master template. We're not setting any merge strategies. So let's right click and generate. And we just generated. And notice that these have changed outside of the editor. So if we reload them, the insert region worked. Everything outside is preserved. And the inside was regenerated. And our two preserved regions have been preserved and everything else was regenerated. So now we know who is Spartacus. So last but not least, we want to show how to implement your own custom merge strategies by implementing the iMerge strategy interface. So here I've created an append strategy. And what this is going to do is take the output from your template and append it to the existing file. So, as you can see, I have an append strategy class that implements the iMerge strategy interface. And that interface only requires two methods. A void init that takes in a string with your init string. And a merge method that returns a string and takes in a code template for context, the existing content in the form of a string, and the template output in the form of a string. Now you can see here that I've also added a create new file attribute. And we're going to use that so that if you set it to true, instead of just appending the um, result of the template, it's just going to return it and create a new file. Now we can set that property because it's just a public bool 
or we can use the init string. And so all you have to do to do that is make sure it's not null or empty. And then we have this very nifty string util class that can do a parse config string. You pass that in, it's just going to return to you a hash table of all the attributes in that string. And this is really useful because it makes implementing this method uh, really simple. So I'm just going to look for a create new file attribute. And if it's there, I'm going to try to parse the boolean out and set it accordingly. So that is our very simple append strategy. Notice that the real work of this is all being done on one line. Uh, we're just saying that if it's not a new file, append the template's output to the back of the existing content. Again, very simple. So now let's go and look at the um, template that's going to be calling this. So our append strategy template is using the append strategy CS class as its source. So it's using a code behind file. And again, this is very similar to what we were doing earlier. Just register your append template, create an object of that type. And when we set the merge strategy, we're just going to or instantiate a new append strategy object as an iMerge strategy and pass it into the render file. And that's going to generate our customly merged output. OK, so let's run this thing. But of course, first, just briefly, let's look at our append template. It's just going to give us uh, three lines of output. This is line one, this is line two, and this is line three in the template, just so we can see that that is what's being appended. So let's come over here to our custom strategy CSP. Let's add an output to it. We're going to add pen strategy. Now notice that we have nothing in our output folder right now. When we run this, we should get a pen CS in there. And notice, just appended our three lines to the blank file. So if we run this again, it updated and reappended. And of course, we can throw back in our test string here, there, and everywhere just to show that it's indeed appending. And there you go. So now we have one more thing to look at, and that is how to register our custom merge strategy with CodeSmith so that it can be used in our CSPs. Now, this isn't that difficult to do, but because it's a bit of a timely process, I'm going to just describe it to you as opposed to work the whole thing out. But I am going to show you the important steps. So the first thing you have to do is create a new class library in Visual Studio, and you have to make your strategy in that. In order to accomplish that, you're going to have to reference the codesmith.engine DLL. That is going to be in your C drive, program files, codesmith 5.0 bin, and it's going to be codesmithengine.dll. And of course, if you installed Codesmith in a different location, it'll be in that place. So once you've referenced that in your project, then you can build your custom strategy. And when it compiles, you need to copy out your DLL and move it into the add-ins folder, which is in the same place, just right above bin, add-ins. You'll notice that I have added a pen strategy.dll. So once that's there, then you have to alter your Codesmith config so that it will know to look for it. That's going to be located under in this case, this is Windows Vista, so if it's Windows XP, it'll be under your Users folder. But you're going to go into Users, I'm going to go into Tom, and then you'll have to show hidden folders and files in order to see your app data. But when you go in there, go to Local, Codesmith 5.0, and you're going to have Codesmith Engine. It's going to be an XML configuration file. Now when you open that up, there's going to be a section for Merge Strategy alias list, You'll notice that I have added an alias with a pen strategy, and then I'm, I put the name of the class, which is strategy, and it's located in the append strategy DLL, which it'll know to find as long as you put it in that add-ins folder. So once you've done all that, and you reboot Codesmith Studio, you can come in, and when you go to manage your outputs, you will notice that now whatever uh, merge strategy you added, in this case a pen strategy, it will now be in your merge strategy type list. OK, so let's finally come and tie all this together. We're going to call our templates straight out of the CSPs using our append strategy. And we're even going to use our create new file property. So 
So let's put it all into the output folder. And let's add this two more times just so that we can see that it is indeed appending and that the first time it is creating a new file. Just one more time here. Okay. So let's see if all this works. This should generate us one file with all the output in it three times. Sure enough, it did. So let's put our test string back in here and see if it clears the file and generates it again. And indeed it did. So I think that does it. We have covered everything from our built-in preserve region and insert region merge strategies all the way to creating custom merge strategies. We've learned how to call them from the CSP files as well as call them from the code in master templates. So I hope you found this video to be helpful and informative. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future videos, please contact us at community.codesmithtools.com. My name is Tom DuPont, and thank you very much for using Codesmith.